Hello again and welcome to the fourth episode of the Job Master's Diary. Uh, I'm wearing my, uh, my Suffolk Horse Society tie today because I noticed a few followers for these uh, videos from the Stop It. Uh, from the Suffolk Horse Society, so this is uh, this is for them. Uh, I'm my preferred breed of baby horse is the Shire, but as I keep saying, um, there's no uh, a good horse is a good horse. It doesn't matter what breed he is. So all, he, all of these heavy breeds have got their features, only good features. Um, last time we did uh, the single horse uh, plough harness uh, on uh, Ron Casey, which is here now and behaving himself. And Bernie, this, his partner here, who isn't behaving quite as well, stand still. Uh, so I thought I'd show, just to show the difference in the, in the, uh, the, the reins, effectively, and, 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 and how to handle the reins uh, for a pair of horses. I'm hoping that, uh, as this is designed for beginners, that uh, you'll be starting off with a, with a single horse. Uh, don't run before you can walk. Uh, start off with a single, and then you can progress to a pair. Uh, I've seen I've seen a lot of people come into this job in a big way uh, very quickly and some of them most of them go out just as quickly so uh, walk before you can run Bernie stop it Stand. so the harness that we've got on these today is the same harness as we had on the single so plow harness um, which if I just roughly run over it's the bridle collar plow pad and the plow chains and then the crupper and the chain carriers and that's the basic that's the basic harness for ploughing so we've got the pair of horses for the plough uh, more often than not it was a pair that pulled the plough uh, i think i said at the last come back there, come back, come back. i think i said on the last video there were single horse ploughs but most ploughing was done with a pair of horses some with three horses on heavy land you'd have three horses pulling the plough uh, and the plough at the back there is uh, Ransom's plough, Ransom's of Ipswich, very famous plough makers. Uh, Robert Ransom in the early 1800s patented what he called the chill share, which, which basically was a system of chilling the bottom of the share when it was first cast to, to, to harden it slightly bit more than the top, so that as it went through the soil, it sharpened rather than previously when the metal was all the same uh, strength, it would plunge the point. So the point there on the very front of the, of the plough is. Um, chill share on those so the pair of horses here um with a single horse it's easy enough with the rein in because you've got one rein to one side of the bit or a line as we call it in farming uh, line on one side and then a lot to this side of the bit and then a line on the other side to the other side if you're working a pair of horses for farming for agricultural work it's very different for trade very different for because you've got leather reins and you've got a completely different system but this was for farming a line on the near side horse to the near side bit ring and then a line on the offside horse to the offside bit ring and then between the two okay, you've got a coupling chain that joins the two horses together so that when I pull on the near side rein, he turns to the left and he pulls this horse over with him. Put on the offside rein on the offside horse and he turns to the to the right. Uh, the length of this chain really, it doesn't want to be so long that the horses are hitting each other. Uh, and you can alter this. Uh, what you want ideally is enough room that the horses aren't hitting each other and so you can see through when you're standing at the back of that plough you want to see what you're doing so you want to see between the horses so that's the that's the coupling chain use a chain rope leather stand up stand straight and what we've got now is what we refer to as a tie back in an ideal world pair of horses that are used to working together and work well together and matched for work will walk at exactly the same pace exactly the same speed if i can get this undone and that's what you want in a perfect work perfect pair of working horses uh, don't matter about the color 
very nice if you can have them all matched but the most important thing is they work together as a pair so if you imagine when you're walking work, working along the only control you've got is on this near side line and the offside line on the other one you haven't got anything to the bit so if you've got a horse that's pulling head a little bit too much you want something to check him and this is what this is here now i'm putting that onto the bit ring and then tie it back to a ring on the collar and the same the same with the other horse tie the put the hook onto the bit ring on the near side and then back to the collar on this horse All that's for is to stop. If this horse comes forward a little bit faster, you'll be checked in by that rein there. But you've got to be very careful of it. You don't have that too short. This isn't this isn't part of the steering. The steering is there, in there. All that's for is to stop those horse, one of those horses from moving too far forward. And as I said before, if you've got a pair of horses that work well together, you don't you almost don't need these. The other, the other place you can hook that actually, if you wanted to, is on the head collar there. It's just something to check him. Because what you've got to be very careful of, that you don't have that so short, that when you pull this horse to the left with this rein, you want to be pulling on this chain to bring this horse over. What you don't want is that check rein tightening because you're going to stop him. You're going to pull on his mouth. Uh, I hope that sort of explains that, but you do need to watch for that. Don't have those social they, they just want to be there in case they move forward. As I say, if you're working a good pair of horses that are used to working together, they'll walk along at the best possible pace and you won't have that problem. So we've got the, the pair hooked up, hooked in the chain, and then tie backs. And then hooking them up is the same as you would the single. And as I said before, in an ideal world, you want to have someone standing in front of you when you're doing this. So I'm going to throw the plane over, coming over there, to that side, this one, and this side. Stand, boys. Stand. So uh, in an ideal world, you want somebody standing at their heads when you're doing this. Um, as I keep emphasizing, the most important thing you'll ever do is to train a horse to stand still. Because you can do the job then without anyone standing there. Um, so I've got the two lines. So I've got contact with the horse, with both horses. The uh, offside horse there with the offside rein and the near side with the near side rein. And then you've got behind, instead of a single swingle tree, You've got a large one at the very back and then the two small ones at the front. And there's like a elite stand case, an equalizing system. Stand. So that both horses are working, pulling the same amount of weight. So the hooks, as I say, keeping hold of the reins. If you don't want them walking off, stand. stand. So all the hooks that are ready on the ground, and as I say, rain. <laughs> so, as I said last time, I put the hooks uphill in case you start catching the roots or anything like that. And then, same on this hill. Stand, boys. Stand. So there this is there. You can see this action there. What you want when you're working, those swingle trees want to be level. And then you're 100% sure they're both doing the same work. But if you've got one that's a little bit further forward, they're still both working. 
and a good pair of horses to be nice and steady. You're going to do a nice steady pace when you're plowing. The uh, main thing is that the lines are long enough to go right to the back of the plough. And then the driving of them, as I've said before, the, the near side rein on this near side horse to pull to the left. And then to turn, which will pull the two horses over because the coupling chain will act then when this one's coming over. And then to pull to turn to the right, right hand rein, on the line. And then the right hand horse, the, the offside horse, will go to the right and bring the other one over with it. As regards to commands, it doesn't matter what you say as long as they know what you mean. Now, the commands I use to turn to the left is come here, to turn to the right is be back, uh, to, to stop them is whoa, to get them to go on. I won't say it too loud in case they go, but I use walk on. I don't say, I don't click them. People click horses move them on but if you click them most people will click a horse when they approach it and if you train this to, to walk onto that click they'll be walking on when you don't want them to so walk on come here to your back whoa and stand and i keep emphasizing the last command you'll ever give them stand and when they're still to stand the only thing they should be doing is breathing don't move stand means stand and that's hopefully what they're going to carry on doing Otherwise, it disproves what I'm saying. Um, if you go into the, the, these commands, regional, very regional. Uh, up in Yorkshire, you live in saying half. Um, down in Suffolk, cup and wish for left and right. Uh, as I say, it doesn't matter what you say, as long as the horse understands what you what you're saying. So the pair of horses I've got here today, uh, Casey, that you saw in the, uh, the the single horse demonstrations. Uh, and then Bernie, and these have worked together, I think, now for about six, seven years, maybe. Yeah. Um, and Bernie, as you can see, just to have a look now, when you're looking for a working horse, they want a front on them like that. They want plenty of room there. Noise by an horse, a narrow horse, because he's got no strength. They want plenty of room there for his heart. And the old saying was, if you couldn't get your bowler hat between the front legs of the horse, don't buy the horse. But that's so they're a, they're a good pair of working horses, those. And they've been working together for, as I say, about seven, six, seven years. And most jobs, uh, most jobs. We've worked in the city of London with these horses at the worship company of um, Carmen, the cart marking ceremony. But they've been in Birmingham, Liverpool. So well-travelled horses. And most of their jobs over at the Ironbridge Gorge Museum at, uh, at Bliss Hill. Just to reiterate again, which is something which I did on the on the first one with the single horse. The main thing is when you're working them, and that that plow is in draft, which it just about is now. Straight line, direct line from the hay hook right the way back to the swingle tree. You don't have any ups and downs because you want the pull coming from the collar. Um, as regards to taking them out, uh, obviously that's those chains are tight now. So just come back, come back boys, come back boys, come back hey, come back. Get the chains loose, hold the lines again as I say, and then the three three hooks, four hooks off. Take all the hooks off before you hang, before you hook them up. And then in case they move now, that they are free from the implement. You don't want one chain still attached. And they're moving off. And then once you put up with once you've stand there. Once you've, uh, once you've taken all the hooks off, just hook that up there. And they're ready now to go back to the farmyard. Uh, and traditionally, you can either drive them back like that as a pair, hook the reins up, walk them back together. Uh, you've seen some old photographs with some of the old boys when they finished the day's plowing. Uh, acre a day, 11 miles you walk, apparently. So they were tired, so you'd get them, they'd sit up on this horse, and they'd, and they'd sit, sit, sort of side saddle, both legs one side, on one horse, and then just drive them back. I'm not doing that today because I might fall off and it'll spoil the in the videos. 
So that's the basics of putting a pair of horses into, uh, into a, a farm influence plow in this case. Um, hope it's made some sense. Uh, I say thank you for watching the previous ones. I hope that you, uh, you watch this one. Uh, as I've said before, this is my way of doing it. Um, it's not the only way. Uh, it's the way that's worked for me for a long time. So that's the, that's the, system, that's the system I use. Uh, and just thanks very much for watching and keep uh, keep watching because there will be more as the time goes on. Thank you very much. We're just driving back around into the yard now. Okay, boys, walk on together. Come on together. Good lads, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here.